Unit 12. Cotton and the American South. Okay, everyone, settle down. We、uh, need to start today's lecture. My topic today is how one crop literally changed an entire region. I'm talking, of course, about cotton and the American South. As we know, the South had and still has plenty of arable land. This is especially true of the region near the Atlantic coast. Once the British began colonizing America, farmers quickly took advantage of the fertile soil and began cultivating a number of crops. Tobacco was the dominant crop at first. However, southern farmers planted a variety of other crops. However, everything changed in the last decade of the 18th century. An American, Eli Whitney, filed a patent for the cotton gin in 1792. This dramatically altered the state of farming in the South. Permit me to explain. Cotton is labor-intensive; it requires lots of attention to grow it. Moreover, its fibers are very difficult to separate from the sticky seeds. In fact, one person working all day could often only separate a pound of cotton from the seeds. However, the cotton gin increased productivity by fifty times. Imagine that. Now consider that the industrial revolution was just getting underway. Why is that important? Well, some of the first inventions then were in the textile industry. These new creations enable people to weave more cloth and to make clothes faster. They just needed the cotton thread. Well, thanks to the cotton gin, that problem was solved. Virtually overnight, the South became practically a one-crop region. People grew cotton everywhere. So, what did this mean for the South? Several things. Remember, I said cotton is a labor-intensive plant. Well, cotton plantations needed plenty of cheap labor. This led to a dramatic increase in the number of African slaves brought to the South. Before the cotton gin, slavery existed only on a small scale. However, now the slave trade exploded. Eventually, the existence of slaves in the South would lead to the Civil War. But we'll cover that in another lecture. But let's see. What else happened because of cotton? Hmm. The dependence upon cotton retarded the growth of industry in the South. After all, why spend money building factories when they could get rich off of farming? Additionally, the South became a land of haves and have-nots. Poor farmers couldn't afford to grow much cotton; they therefore remained poor. The few rich, on the other hand, could purchase large numbers of slaves to farm their land. They naturally became even richer. The South actually came somewhat to resemble Europe. The rich were the aristocracy, or the poor were the peasants. There wasn't much of a middle class in the South until after the Civil War. Listening comprehension. Number one. What aspect of cotton does the professor mainly discuss? Number two. What resulted from Eli Whitney's invention? Number three. According to the professor, what was the connection to cotton of each of the following? Number four. What does the professor imply about tobacco? Number five. Are the following characteristics of the South before or after 1792? Put a check in the correct box for each sentence. 